In this short video, we'll highlight the major new updates in MarketSite 11.1. This release adds nesting to crosstab rows, freezing crosstab column headers for ease of use, the ability to create user-defined variables through the dataset labeling workbook, and several chart improvements like the ability to suppress data that's below a set sample size. Nesting in rows is just as easy as nesting in the columns. It's all about where you drag and drop your variables. You've been asking for this feature, and we're happy to deliver. This new functionality even means that you can add the same variable to the rows twice. Freezing column headers is even easier, and it helps make your crosstabs more user-friendly than ever before. You can enable it on an individual crosstab basis, or set it as your account default. The Dataset Labeling Workbook has also seen an additional upgrade. You can now use it to edit pre-existing user-defined variables, or even make them from scratch. When I open the pre-filled workbook, I can quickly locate and modify any UDV. Think of how easy it can be to edit conditional UDV logic. I can also quickly suppress chart data if it happens to be below a set sample size. This allows anyone who views this chart to know that the sample size shown here is below the required threshold. I can adjust the formatting of the warning message as well. We hope you enjoy the new features in MarketSide 11.1, and thanks for watching.